Hi, and welcome to this speed demonstration uh, using Genie Voice Command with ZBrush. Um, this video is to show just how fast you can work in ZBrush and stay in that creative process, that creative flow that normally gets broken up when having to click on a bunch of different menus. Z Genie Voice Command allows you to stay in the creative process and the creative flow freeing you up from having to stop what you're doing and create and clicking on a bunch of different menus. So I'm going to start to to do a demonstration here in a minute and please forgive me I'm very much a very much a beginner when it comes to um uh sculpting in ZBrush. I'm very much a subdivision modeler, uh not a sculptor. And so um but hopefully you'll be able to see, even though I'm making something very simple, that you'll see the benefits of Genie Voice Command. So here we go. Sphere 3D, edit, make poly mesh, polyframe, front. Left, right. Top, bottom, back, front, Dynamesh, undo, Dynamesh resolution, Dynamesh, ZW Mesher. Undo, undo, Morphe V, Morphe V off, Clay, Rake, BMA, BMO, BZR, Morph, Freehand, move, elastic, layers palette, layer palette, macro palette, UV map menu, poly paint menu, Depth menu, curve menu, fiber mesh menu, alpha 23, alpha 54, alpha off, freehand, dots, switch color, switch color, polyframe fill, Polyframe line, polyframe, polyframe, as you can see you can work very very fast using Genie Voice Command um, and hopefully that will be of a lot of value, you know, how you can stay in the creative moment versus having to click on a bunch of different menus. I did try to demonstrate how you can access those different menus simply by uh, by saying the, the name of the menu um, followed by the word menu. So I hope you can see the value in that. Um, it would free up your, your space that you're working on that you wouldn't have to have a whole bunch of different menus opened up uh, to be able to click on them. You can simply ask for the menu that you want and or um, so that it keeps you in the in the creative moment. So I would love to get some feedback uh, from people. Uh, as to how much, I haven't decided on a price, as of the filming of this, which is February 15th, um, 2020, I haven't yet set a price for Genie Voice Command. It's one of those things where there's no other product out there like it. And so people don't really know, is it worth it? How much is it, you know, how much is it going to save them, you know, uh, time-wise or or how much of, you know, 
freedom from the headache of, of certain chores. Um, will it? So it's, it's, it's kind of difficult to come up with a price. Theoretically, if it makes you, you, if it cuts your work down, you know, the time amount of time it takes you to do something, say it cuts your work down in half. You can do things in half the time that you did before. Theoretically, if you're a freelance graphic designer or graphic uh, artist, you can uh, take on twice as much work and it doubles your income. So if it doubles your income, that would be well worth the money, <laughs> uh, uh, worth a good chunk of money. But at the same time, I don't want to price it, overprice it out of the range. Um, so it's it should definitely be worth uh, the money, um, uh, like I said, I haven't, I haven't decided yet. Um, it's like I said, it's, it's the, one of the hardest parts of, of coming up with a new product is what is a decent price for it? So try it out. Try the, 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 try the trial version out. You can get it off of my website. It's only for PC, unfortunately. Uh, maybe in the future, I'll be able to, to make it for Mac as well, but right now it's only for PC. Um, and so try it out. Uh, give me some feedback. I'd love, you know, leave a comment. Uh, I'm, I'm definitely open to suggestions and especially when it comes to the pricing. So, uh, yeah, leave a comment. I hope you try it out. Uh, you know, you might want to, if you leave a comment first and then you try it out, then you might want to revise your comment or add to it or update it. Uh, hopefully you'll like it a lot. I'm using just a coyotal microphone on a on a armature. Uh, it's not a desk microphone, although it will work with a desk microphone. Uh, it is a coital. You might have heard cars driving in the background. <laughs> I live on a very busy street, very noisy street, um, and it, it doesn't have any problem with it whatsoever. A uh, better microphone definitely is good to have. Um, uh, you can use a headset, but you don't have to use a headset. I've had my, my microphone uh, like I said, it's just, a, it's just sort of on a stand. It's sort of like an armature stand. And uh, I've listened to music while working, and it doesn't have a problem with it. Uh, I've listened to talk show radios um, or YouTube commentary shows, um, and it doesn't seem to have a problem with it. So it will work in noisier environments. I do have other videos that show over troubleshooting and uh, this and that. And I have different, I have a, a confidence uh, uh, accuracy setting that you can set so that if you are having problems where outside noises or outside voices are triggering voice commands, that you can set it to a higher confidence level so that it has to be, the program has to be more sure of that it's heard the correct command before it does it. So, uh, like I said, I, I'm in a pretty noisy environment with cars and motorcycles riding by, and it doesn't seem to have a problem. Um, it shouldn't have a problem with you. Um, and like I said, you don't have to wear a headset, um, cause headsets over a period of time can be, uh, you know, a little hard on your ears, um, and uncomfortable. Uh, but like I said, I'm using a boom microphone, not a boom microphone. Like I said, it's a Coyote microphone. I think I paid like, um, $30 for the microphone and I think the armature was like 10 bucks something like that so if you've been wanting to get a better microphone for podcasting or this or that this gives you the perfect excuse to get it <laughs> or if you've been wanting to get a headset and um, and you can uh, convince your boss that hey I need to have a headset uh, or be able to wear a headset uh, because this this little nice little plugin called Genie Voice Command allows me to do my work twice as fast, and then you can listen to music um, or something in your headset. You know, gives you that kind of excuse um, uh, where you, the boss me have been like, "Well, I'm not sure if I want you to wear a headset," and it's like, "Well, well, but if if it makes me get my work done faster," um, and so uh, it gives you kind of a good excuse. Um, so anyway, so hopefully uh, you'll try it out. You'll give me some feedback. Hopefully you'll like it. And um, I will be uh, probably doing what I did with, I have Genie Voice Command for Maya that I, I came out with two years ago. And it's basically the same sort of sort of deal, but with Maya. So if you're a Maya user, definitely get download both of them. Try them both out. Um, and 
uh, with Genie with Genie Voice Command from Maya after you buy it the first time. When it comes out with a new version of Maya, uh, you know, or ZBrush, when they come out with a new version, I have to spend like a month adding the new features uh, to the program uh, to upgrade to the new version. It's like 50% off of what you paid for it originally um, or what the current price is. And so, yeah, what the current price is because I can't, I can't keep track of exactly who paid what. So it's 50% off of whatever the current price is when a new version comes out. Uh, updates are free. So if there's a bug and I fix a bug and this and that, um, those, those updates are free for your, for your particular version. Um, but when it comes out with a new version, say uh, ZBrush comes out with ZBrush uh, 2021, then you'll get it for half the price. But hopefully by then, you'll and be like it saves me so much time that you know it's worth worth half the the regular cost of it to be able to keep it plus you'll always be able to use it with your older version of of zbrush so it will always work if you buy the 2020 version it'll always work with zbrush 2020 uh, and so it will work with that version no problem and so um you know so hopefully, like I said, it's the, it's figuring out the price point. I don't want to price it too high, uh, um, but I don't want to price it too low. I don't want to undervalue it because I think it really has a lot of value, especially if it can make you a considerable more amount of money or, or give you more free time. If you're a freelancer and you're happy with the amount of money you're making and it cuts your work in half, that means all that extra time you can spend doing other projects or just going out and enjoying your life. So awesome. So hopefully try it out. Leave a comment. I appreciate it. And we'll see you in the next video. Thanks. Bye-bye.